in Prezi, you can edit the topics according to um, uh, edit the style of the topics according to the way you want. So let's see how to do that. For that, I'm going to click topic right here. And here I got the topic right here. So I can resize it by pulling the handles right here and place it anyway. So this is just a basic editing. Once you select this, you, get, you notice that there's the overview menu right here. You can see that there's the preset and there's the fill color, which is associated with the style of this right here. If you were to click on title, you can see that the, that the menu actually changes. So I'm going to click back over here and then click on the topic right here. So here you can see that I got presets where I can choose different colors over here, as you can see. So it actually does everything for you uh, if you want to save your time. Here you can choose the fill color. You can have a solid fill or a, or a linear gradient fill, as you can see. So you have different styles over here, just like that. You can set the start, you can start set the end. Let me start with solid first. So you can see that you can choose different colors of your liking and choose these colors as well. You can also have a custom color by clicking on this icon right here and choosing the color shade that you want, just like that, and press OK. So you can see that it is very good. Also, if you want to Add in a custom color, you can type in the hexadecimal code if you are familiar with it. For example, FF00F1. So exactly uh, the same hexadecimal code can also be added. You can also work with the opacity right here. You can see that the level of opacity is uh, maintainable. So let me just keep it to this range right here. And in my case, I'm going to use yellow right here because that seems more okay for my design. I can also go for linear gradient as you can see so you can choose the start and end so you can start to the starting color and you can choose an ending color right here so even the opacity that is adjustable just like that so that's the linear gradient as well another thing you can do is you can decrease the thickness since it doesn't have a border the this is actually disabled and if you were to increase thickness you can see that you can increase the level of thickness right here or decrease it just like this and everything disappears. Let me just increase this out a bit. And over here, you can see that you can choose the border colors as well. So you can choose a certain border color and increase and decrease its opacity, um, just like the same, and enter the hexadecimal value over here. Over here, we, are, we can also add animations, but we'll talk about that in the further lessons right here. So now, over here, uh, what you can also do is you can uh, decrease everything else. So you can decrease the thickness right here. You can remove everything out. So you can uh, actually uh, choose a solid fill and then do a, uh, bring down the full opacity. So if you want a full transparent uh, title, you can actually do that just like that. So once you go in, you can see that there are many things that you can edit. So everything is transparent over there. So if you want your custom graphics over there or something, then you can actually do that just like that as well. So that is how you can work with titles. So everything is the same actually. So if you were to choose a stack title, for example, and go in, then uh, the way to edit these are the same. So you can add in the border color, you can increase the opacity, for example. So you can increase the opacity increase and decrease the opacity just like that and this is the same for the stack title as well the formatting works all the same just like that so if we were to go over here you can see that the stack title and the uh, regular topics the, the planetary topics are all the same so that is how you can work uh, 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 and edit the styles of the topics and subtopics inside of Prezi. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.